Let us discuss the key components of a research proposal. What to include in research proposal? Writing research proposal is very very important if you are looking for a PhD position or if you are looking for MS position. The supervisor will ask or the university will ask to write a research proposal. Without writing the research proposal, no one is accepting your application if you are looking for PhD or MS positions, right? So it is also very, very important if you are looking for some fellowship. You know the fellowship, uh, this is also very important. Uh, scholarships like, like, like the GSPS, which is Japanese uh, fellowships, uh, like the Homeboard uh, Scholarship, which is Germany-based scholarship. So these are basically fellowships. If you are looking for fellowships, you also need to write a research proposal. And it is not limited to a particular field like social sciences and natural sciences, uh, medicine, artificial intelligence. It is for every field. Any field you are working or uh, any methods you are using, uh, but the following content should be there in your research proposal. Well, let me show you a glance here. Uh, here, this is... Uh, uh, University Technology Sydney, I uh, was uh, flying here. So they basically mentioned here that uh, you have to write a research proposal. So I was just looking here. So the same thing is there. You see the title of the project, the background, the aim, objective, literature review, research methodology, you see here, uh, research plan and timetable, etc. Okay, so all these things are basically same, right? So the first thing is basically the title. You have to include title uh, of your research proposal. The second important thing is abstract. This is also sometimes called summary or sometimes it is called executive summary. Now, introduction. Sometimes uh, people call it background, just like I show now by uh, University Technology uh, background, uh, Sydney. You can also call it as background. Basically, introduction is basically a background. If you are introducing yourself to someone, this means you are talking about your background, right? Literature review, literature review and introduction are basically same. Uh, but this one is in more in-depth uh, analysis, more in-depth analysis. So this means that both are same. Uh, sometimes uh, people uh, include only introduction uh, and do not include literature review and sometimes people include literature review and don't include this one, right? The next important thing is the problem statement. Very important. Uh, you have to include this in your uh, uh, research proposal. Hypothesis. Hypothesis simply means that uh, uh, you give some supposition, basically you are supposing something that uh, if uh, this, uh, if this in that, uh, let's suppose if you say that if you combine A and B, it will give us C. So this is how you are supposing something, right? Uh, research objectives, very important. Uh, this is the crux of your proposal. The crux means the very important thing, uh, right, uh, uh, in your research proposal. Uh, the, 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 the methods, the, the methodologies, this is very crucial in your research proposal uh, because you are going uh, uh, to perform some experiments, so you have to use uh, methods, right? The work plan or gain chart, this is also called a gain chart, work plan, and at the end, references, very important, right? Now, uh, uh, the, the question is basically, uh, your research proposal not only defined the quality, this is what I mentioned a lot, that if you have very great work, if you have very novel idea, outstanding idea, a classical approach, but if your writing is not good, if you are write up, uh, you don't know how to write and how to combine the data, so it won't make impression. So therefore, decent writing skill is very important to increase the chances of your proposal acceptance. Writing skill is directly proportional to the reading, if you read more, this is writing. Writing skills is directly proportional to the reading. If you write, read, read more, you, you will have good writing skills, right? You see, the more you read, the better your writing will be. The question is basically what to read in order to improve our writing skills. There is no shortcut, but only and only one way that is a research paper. You have to read research paper a lot and not only surface reading, but you have to analyze the results. Once you have to analyze the result very, very critically, right? The above pattern I mentioned this work well for getting PG, MS admission, or even getting for small research grant. 
but if you want to get big grants so locally internationally so we have to include something uh, else right